You can find this course on schooldesign.net. Join on Facebook website and group. The full course you can watch on Udemy. You can find course and files on patreon.com. The full course you can watch on Skillshare. And the next plugin, as for you components. This is uh, mostly a very useful plugin, especially if you uh, want to work a lot with the components, create components, replace components, add some components to existing wireframe. So normally it will spend a lot of time to do it manually with the as for you components. It will be only with a few clicks with your mouse. Okay, so uh, we will start with the first options, point to components. This means that we need to uh, add the construction points to SketchUp. Unfortunately, in SketchUp with the standard uh, toolbar, it is impossible to create the normal points. So it's, it's uh, really frustrated but you need to use additional plugin to edit. So uh, as you can see, I have the uh, draw some points with the point tool uh, plugin that you can download uh, from the uh, SketchUp warehouse and we'll draw some construction points. And as you can see, I have uh, five points uh, right now and I will add some shapes, some solids, some very easy one, and I will convert it into the components. And right now I will select the components together with all the points that we have uh, in the workspace. And now I would like to add these components to each point on our uh, workspace and as you can see in a few clicks and in a very fast way I duplicate each element and even I will make some modification uh, all the rest uh, model solids will be also automatically updated Okay, uh, the next options is the draw lines to components. So first we need to select the components. This is the windows pop-up that remind you about this. So we select the components and we can now start to draw as a normal line, but instead of line, we have the components so we can put them in different uh, directions. And of course, uh, until we hit backspace or escape, uh, we can still draw it. Uh, okay, and the next one. Here we have two different options to set our components and convert it into the line. So we select components line and as you can see, in a few clicks we have components added to our path. Of course, the most important is how you set the axis for your components. Right now, the blue one must be direct in the same direction as our components, as our arrow. So then this will be possible to edit in a way that you see on the screen. Uh, there is second options with the arrange. Uh, works very uh, similar but the results will be different so as you can see the arrow we have in a different uh, direction so it depends what you need then you have uh, always some options to choose with different solution and now uh, we can also copy our components into uh, some banded surface so as you can see, I have the surface. I need to explode it to select only surface individual and I need to select components and copy. 
and now by uh, clicking with the mouse because as you can see we have still the blue arrow I can change the direction for the components I can also select from the right click menu some additional options to set all of them uh, at the same position for example uh, and uh, what is more I can for example change the shapes so I will open the group I will make some uh, modification for example uh, to add some uh, glass material so now we can select the material with glass and we can edit it and as you can see each component will be also updated so this is very cool feature okay and now uh, the next uh, command that we have here uh, I will edit the components uh, and you always need to remember uh, to put in a correct way uh, the axis okay and the next examples we have three options uh, phase two components uh, so first I will select the face and select components first we need to create the group I will just put the uh, middle points here with the green axis directed as our cross and now I can select the path and components and we can face to components so now as you can see I need to with our blue arrow set the correct uh, options and if it will be done I can set the finish and we have the result so it's look quite nice okay uh, the second options uh, work in a similar way but give you a different results and these results will be uh, with the common repeats so as you can see uh, our shape has been repeats uh, in the same way uh, for each element then we have uh, also the path and the objects and we will select the face two components arrange and as you can see this uh, result is quite nice but in the middle we have different uh, objects so it's uh, with some angle so uh, this time we can use the uniform uh, solution and as you can see we have the correct each of uh, the elements so also as you can see sometimes it is worth to choose two different uh, variation two different options to see different results then we have the shapes and we can copy it to our surface even if surface is bended as you can see this is the results and right now by uh, click with the blue arrow I can change the uh, rotation uh, for our object and we have the three last uh, options uh, this is mostly used to convert for example group into uh, the components so right now you can see we have different group and uh, they are not uh, uh, components because you can see there is no auto update for modification so now I will select uh, all of them and I will select group to components and right now they are converted into the components and by uh, selecting one and modify it you can see that all of them are also auto update uh, the same situation with the uh, let me say solid to components or object to components right now we have already predefined components but they are not the clone so it means that they are each of them are separately so uh, right now ah, and the last one as you can see is not a component so we'll create it and now I will select all of them and I will convert object to components and right now you will notice that we can work with them as a normal components 
so we can modify one and all of them will be also updated so very useful function and there is also possibility to replace the shapes so first of all i need to select all the elements uh, that need to be replaced after that we select the icon and we select the correct shapes and in a one click we have updated elements of course again always you need to remember about the axis how it is oriented how how it looks orientation of each axis in each components so this is how the s4u components work i really advise to use it because it will speed up your work really a lot